most star seeds end up in family or circumstances that traumatize them at an early age. And I'm Simone, I'm the Zen Mommy. I help people with awakening and 5D ascension. And I just wanna talk about this subject today. And um, realizing this helped me really understand, you know, the things I went through in this life. See, as star seeds, okay, for those who don't understand quite what a star seed is, a star seed is an individual who came into this plant, who, who incarnated in this earth. This may be your first time as a human experience, or, or you haven't done many lives, but your only, your main goal for being here, it was to help Gaia. And the way you were helping Gaia was being a higher frequency being. See, the humans, they had been playing this human game since the beginning of time over and over. They are in an overall low 3D vibration. So when Gaia was planning to ascend, she didn't want to be a part of this 3D vibration anymore. She decided to ascend to the fourth dimension. I mean, to the fifth dimension. And she called out for help to beings outside of time and space to come in and help raise her frequency on the planet so she can shift to 5D. So when the star seeds came in, we had agreed to come in at the lowest vibration available. Because we're such a high vibrational being, it didn't feel right to us. Okay, sorry. Okay, so we came, so it doesn't feel right to us going from such a high frequency, creator God frequency, no duality, always in love. Then we come here to a place that love is now divided into hate and love. And there's a lot of negative, low vibrational frequencies. The planet had hit finally hit the third dimension of vibration very low frequency so when we incarnated in here we were intentionally put in families that would traumatize us and if they missed putting us in a family that traumatized us something happens to us later uh, a little bit later on where uh, we get tortured traumatized uh, get taken away from our families some negative event happened and this happened because we agreed for it to happen because in order to come here to help Gaia, we had to come in and get in at a low vibration. Once we begin to go through this trauma, we get to a point where we start, I guess, awakening and having an ascension and raising our vibration. This was all a part of the game, the, the, the experience we had. And so looking back, <clears throat> I think about how I had a very traumatizing situation as a child. You know, although I had my mother at a certain age, at a young age, I was taken away from her and put into foster care. I was sent to all kinds of homes. A lot of bad things happened to me. And you know, and other people who I talked to, my husband, same thing. He was in a family situation that traumatized him at a, as a young, at a young age. And you know, through his, through most of his whole, you know, his. Um, his young life before he became an adult and knowing this stuff we realized that okay this was done on purpose okay a lot of us may realize that the family here is not our soul family the family we're with a lot of them we can't even relate to we can't even talk to we can't even vibrate with we can't even get along with there's a reason why you know we came here for a specific reason we knew we were gonna have to go into this low vibration and like we really were warriors to accept this to accept this challenge but now now here we are we're finally uh, awakening and we're in ascension and it's time to I look back and I realize in my life it's time to let go of those traumas you know a lot of times with these traumas they have the tendency to keep you in a low frequency I remember I was doing a lot of shadow work and then you know during 2020 for some reason, shadow work just was coming really heavy for me. And I started to realize I was doing shadow work on stuff that I had already felt I healed and dealt with. And every time I started thinking about this shadow work, it was taking me to the moment I was tortured. And it was putting me in a low frequency. And overall, it would bring my whole vibration down. And so I finally got to a point in my life where I have to just really accept that, okay, I'm a God. Everything I went here was an experience that I agreed to. Everything that I happened, I matched the vibration of, okay? 
there are entities here that are here to keep the frequencies low because this game was supposed to be a 3d game so there are entities and beings that do things they sway things they they're like i talked about in that other video they post news stories things in the media things that keep making people get upset and get low vibrational putting us in families you know we come into this putting us in families that are like oh this family okay that family traumatized you you're gonna be in the low i was in a low vibration when i was a child very low very depressed I was very suicidal throughout grade school. I was even suicidal in my, in my late 20s. And it was all, I was in a very low vibration. But now is the time the shift is occurring. And the things that we did to stabilize this lower frequency is now time to let go of the low frequency. Now, if you want to deal with shadow work, if you want to go back and heal all these traumas, if you don't really quite have grasp the whole God concept, see, this is okay you can do whatever you want you don't have to go to 5d people who stay in 4d or people who want to figure it out they want to figure the traumas they want to heal the traumas they want to they want to figure out the reality see the thing is as a creator god there's nothing to figure out we just got to remember as you shift to 5d you begin to remember more and more and so i was just thinking about that i was just thinking about the traumas i had suffered and how you know I've made the decision that I'm moving forward. I'm not dealing with traumas anymore. I'm not going to be on timelines with any person, friend, or family member who are specifically trying to be in a in a, in a different, a certain vibration. See, when you start going to the higher frequencies of 5D, lower frequencies will drop off. You won't even be able to connect to those lower frequencies. Something there'll be a timeline split. You may not see them anymore. Different things can happen that will in this timeline split when you go like to 5d and they go different things can happen like say uh you'll lose connection of people who aren't on the same frequency and stuff and so so i've been thinking about that and i've been trying to condition my life to you know raise my vibration more and you know things do come up you know i'm, I'm still got the human part of me and there'll be moments where i think about something sad that happened to me I might want to cry. I might get down for a second, but I really, I really take myself at that moment. I feel the emotion, and then I let it go. Because if you don't let it go, it's gonna keep you in a frequency where you start manifesting more things to keep you in a low vibration. So when I started seeing I was a god, and I started seeing these negative feelings and frequencies I was in, was because I was attracting them to me. If I start focusing on childhood traumas and crying about it and wishing I had a different mother, then I'm gonna be so sad that I may attract another situation that's traumatizing. Or I might attract, just bringing my low vibration, my vibration down can cause me to get like in a car accident. Like low, when your energy is low, you attract low energy things like a magnet. And so I was thinking about that. I wanted to share that part of the journey. And um, thank you for watching. Sign up for my email list if you resonate with my channel. Peace and love. Namaste.